Olie en gas zijn natuurlijke hulpbronnen die op grote schaal aanwezig zijn over de hele wereld, zowel onshore als offshore. Het zijn kostbare hulpbronnen die op de juiste manier vervoerd moeten worden. Het is daarom van belang dat de pijpleidingen waarin het gebeurt goed functioneren. Om dit te controleren worden er inspecties uitgevoerd. Peter van Beugen van Pipe Survey International vertelt ons hier alles over. Oil and gas is still uh, present in a large scale in the world. Uh, it's uh, used for energy, but also raw materials for uh, furniture, plastics, textile. And uh, we transport these oil and gas from distant resources to the end user uh, through pipelines. Around the world, there's about 4 million kilometers of pipelines. That's 10 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. And these pipelines transport uh, fuels and gases from distant resources to the end user. Um, and there's approximately for 200 years of reserves of oil and gas. So we need to take care of these pipelines that they don't pose a threat to the environment and to human people. Um, the threats can be external, like human interference, earthquakes, landslides, but also internal uh, threats like corrosion or other mechanisms that can damage the pipeline. One way to identify the risk of pipelines is using intelligent pigs. Uh, these are autonomous instruments that go inside the pipeline. They have a board computer, sensors, data storage, batteries, and uh, they measure the status of the pipeline. Uh, one type of pigs is geometry pigs or caliper pigs. They measure the radius of the pipe and can identify where it dents, buckles, or other sorts of geometric uh, deformation in the pipeline. Another type of instrumented pigs is MFL pigs. They use magnetic flux to um, saturate the pipe with a magnetic field. So this tool uses magnetic fields to cover the whole pipeline and measure where there are weak spots in the pipeline. Uh, the normal method for magnetic flux leakage is to use an actually oriented field. Uh, by using a transverse oriented field, the tool can also detect cracks in actual direction. It starts with research and development. This is a team of scientists that look at what kind of technology can be used for measurement of pipeline features. They will look at mechanical design, electronic features, and software that can be used for a certain application. Once they are finished, the engineers will look at the design of the tool. They look at how this technology can be applied in pipelines under harsh conditions like high pressure, high temperature, high vibrations, and shock impact. All the sensors and electronics have to be suitable for these conditions. Once the engineering has been finished, the tool will be assembled according to these drawings. Uh, the assembly and testing of a tool is subject to very strict quality standards because a tool failure in a pipeline can lead to high costs and risks. Um, the tool is assembled in the workshop, is calibrated and tested in the pool test. And before the tool is mobilized to site, the project manager will organize a kickoff meeting with all the crew and go through all the details of the project like planning, schedule, job safety analysis, technology and facilities that are required. Energy Steiermark in Oostenrijk heeft om energie goed te kunnen blijven leveren ingesteld om regelmatige inspecties uit te voeren. We nemen een kijkje op locatie om te zien hoe dit in zijn werk gaat. Once the crew arrive on site, the installation will be prepared to launch the pig. First the pig trap is isolated and inerted to make sure it's safe to insert the pig into the pipeline. And the crew will activate the pig and check its status before it's launched to make sure it makes a good recording. Then the pig will be inserted into the pig trap and the pressure will be equalized over the pig trap and the pipeline. And then the mainline valve will be opened and the pig goes on its way into the pipeline. Once the pig is on the way from the launcher to receiver, which may take a couple of hours or even days, the progress of the pig inside the pipeline is monitored. So at the intermediate valve stations, we put markers and we go there to check the passage of the pig and record the time so we can check the progress of the pig. Once the pig arrives at the receiving station, the crew will download the data from the pig and send it to the main office where this data will be further analyzed and the final report about the pipeline will be sent to the customer. Based on this report, the customer will organize a meeting to determine its strategy for the coming five to ten years for maintenance and repair. The various pigs will collect various data about the pipeline like geometric information, bent radius, if there's any dents or deformation and also information about the pipe wall thickness and corrosion inside the pipeline. And based on these combined data, we can check the structural integrity of the pipeline. 